film this really quick because my battery is about running out. And um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a quick haul video. I got a couple of things from ASOS.com, and also I got a couple of things from the cosmetics company store. Um, so first, let's go to ASOS.com. I got the very cute Paul and Jerry creamy uh, matte foundation from there. So I'm in shade number 20. Looks like that. I actually have it on today. It's very lovely. Um, it makes my skin feel very uh, flawless. Even though, given that I have a lot of acne right now, going my skin is going through a rough period right now. Um, but still, I feel very light on, and it really helped me control my shine on my face. Um, it totally replaced my holy grail of the Dior Tinted Moisturizer, just because this has medium coverage and also feels really nice on, and it really helped me control my oil the whole day, and after 12 hours of wear, I still look very fresh and matte on my face, so that's why I really like it. Um, so it looks like, oh, looks like that, kind of gross, um, but it's a cream foundation and it comes with an applicator that you can use. So this usually retail for about 50 something dollars I think, but I got it from half off from ASOS.com so which is totally worth it. I think I'm gonna buy another jar just to as a backup just because it's so amazing. So definitely check it out. The second thing I got from ESOS.com is the Poncho Christmas Collection. Um, I also got this for half off for like $25, so you can retail for like $50 something. Um, the bag is very lovely, it's a vintage looking bag, very, very cute. And also, uh, so in this collection, it came with a lip product. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it just because it's too pretty and I don't know what to do. Looks like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do, seriously, because I think you need to use a lip brush with it, and I really hate to use the brush. Um, it also came with a few eyeshadows, so it's a little container, like music sheets, and it came with different colors of eyeshadow. I haven't used any of them just because they're so pretty, I don't want to destroy them. Um, so I'm still on the fence if I want to just keep it as a collector item or just use it around it. But um, if I ever decide to use it, I'll do a face update or eye update for that. So that's that. I don't think I will put, um, pay full price for it, but it's half off on ASOS, so you should definitely go check it out. Very cool. Very cool. Because usually Paul and Jewel, um Makeup bag costs about forty dollars, so this is a very good quality. That, that. The next thing I got was from the Mac Champel co collection. Um, this is the um, this is the Rose Olay um, highlight. I have it on today since I used the matte uh, foundation, so I wanted to use some highlight to give this dewy finish. So that's that. I could do a little swatch for you. It's a champagne color, very 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 light. Um, the only criticism I have, it's kind of hard to pick up the color, so I actually have to use um, a very use a brush. So I use the brush like this, and I have to hold it like this, and kind of really go in to get a color, or you can't get any color. I have no idea what other girls are doing with this, because I know a lot of the girls get this color. So let me know if you know a better way to get the product out of the pan. Um, I went to the cosmetics company store yesterday in Lee's for Gala and I find this Bobbi Brown palette that's very lovely. So let me open it for you. It kind of reminds me of Costa Sense 88 palette, but of course a higher quality. So it looks like this. Very, very lovely. Give you a zoom in of the color. Very pretty, right? So I actually have it on today. So it's just a yellow and a blue look. Very, very easy to do. So I used, let me see what color, what was the other side? So I used this color and that color to create a look. It took me two minutes, really, really quick. But the shadows are extremely good quality and then they're really, really easy to use. Um, so yeah, I think they used to retail this for about $75, but I got this for $50 from the uh, cosmetics company store. 
Um, I usually don't like full size single shadows just because I never stick to one thing and use it. But this gives me a lot of choices and it's so much fun to play with. And if I ever fall in love with any of the color, that I'll just go to Bobby Brown to buy the full size. It's not a big deal. So um, if you're in a market, if you're just like me, don't don't always stick with one shadow. This is definitely worth consideration. Um, there's also a lot of other Mac collections in the cos um, cosmetic company store. I saw the beach collection with a little seahorse on it over there. Um, so I was surprised because a lot of limited collection items were there. Um, but yeah, I didn't pick up any Mac stuff just because I wasn't really into any of those collections. I was never really a Mac fan. But if you are, definitely go check out your cosmetic company store nearby, near, nearby you. It's definitely worth it. And oh yeah, I was really mad because um, I got the limited edition um, MAC um, Nostrum Edition brush set. Like I, it's like eye brush set for like $60 or something. I don't remember how much is it. I saw in the cosmetic company store $40. I was so mad. I was like, oh, I'm never going to buy stuff full price anymore. But yeah, that's it. So hope you girls have a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys later.